microwave ovens. We've all got one in our kitchens, and I'm going to show you how they work. <laughs> and what I'm going to use is a piece of broken glass and a blowtorch. <laughs> this bottle has been in the microwave almost 10 minutes, and it's still not really hot. Slightly warm, but not hot. It's just like the glass plate at the bottom of your microwave doesn't get hot either. But also in the microwave, I've put a jar of water. This definitely is hot. You can see it steaming. So what's going on here? How come some things get hot and some not? Well, microwaves in these ovens work by making molecules in stuff wiggle like that. And as they wiggle, they bump into one another and that heats them up. The molecules in this glass can't wiggle very much at all because they're held firmly in place. And so that means they don't really heat up in a microwave. But if I melt glass, yeah, make it a bit liquid, then suddenly it allows the molecules to wiggle. Okay? That's where the blowtorch comes in. <laughs> so if I heat up a piece of glass till it's say red hot and just put it in the top of the bottle and hopefully the microwaves will be able to get to work on the glass and then they'll melt the rest of the bottle as well. So actually this is the same reason why it's quite hard to defrost things in your microwave because if you look at ice it's very solid and the, the molecules can't wiggle very much. I reckon that's almost getting there. Three, two, one, go. There you go. And if you look right at the top, oh, there's a big mountain. Yes, you can see that. The little bit of glowing glass that I put in has now heated up the rest of the glass molecules in the bottle and allowed them to wiggle too. And so they're melting. The whole bottle is just disintegrating before our eyes. It's really cool. Whee! So a bit, a bit's falling off the bottom into, into there. It should, st it should carry on going. It's quite pretty though, isn't it? Yeah. You better take it out. I will take it out of there oh, yeah. um, so that it doesn't burn a hole in the bottom of my microwave. Does it affect the guarantee of the microwave for um. melting bottles? <laughs> <laughs> you probably shouldn't do this at home. <laughs> you might wreck your microwave and you probably shouldn't be messing around with blowtorches.